right, everyone, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, this is going to be a, a repeat of the session that we did at the recent Great Lakes Automation Day. Um, this morning, we're talking about micromarketing with Google AdWords. So without further ado, let's get started. So when it comes down to it, you know, we're just talking about advertising here. We're talking about web advertising, and the goal of web advertising is well, to get people to go to your website. So we're going to talk about uh, your little piece of that $620 billion spent on advertising every year, and you're going to help contribute uh, to that number growing a bit. So there's different websites and different studies out there uh, have slightly different stats, but it's estimated that anywhere between 150 and 3,000 advertisements are seen per day uh, per person here in the United States. Um, obviously, in uh, some other areas that can be higher, but this is anything from an advertisement that we see in a TV commercial, uh, pop-ups or, or ads or banners we see on websites, to uh, signs on uh, buses and park benches and different things like that. So advertising is everywhere. So how can people find you online? Um, that's really uh, what we're trying to figure out here is um, using Google AdWords as a way for people to be able to find you online. But when they find you, uh, why would they stay? You know, the question behind the question today really is um, not just using Google AdWords to, to get to your website, which we're going to show you uh, in great detail how to actually go through the process and get that started, but why would people want to go to your website? What kind of useful content do you have out there? Um, are your clients going to be able to uh, just find your address, look at your building, and, and see a nice picture of your staff? Or are they actually going to be able to, to do something functional that they're going to want to come back for and that they're going to get value out of? And that could be anything from uh, very useful uh, news blogs or postings that you're putting out on your website. You know, uh, we've seen agencies put out uh, tips about how to you know save money uh, on fuel efficiency for their car, um, things to watch out for uh, in winter driving. Um, you know, just, just lots of useful information. It doesn't have to be just related uh, to the agency. Um, but for things that are related to the agency, uh, what kind of information can they get a request from you? Uh, what kind of quest re uh, quote request forms do you have on your website? That's a pretty common thing nowadays. Um, so think about that. When people find you, why would they stay? I think the average uh, time people stay on any given website is between five and seven seconds. So in that five to seven seconds, if people do happen to stumble upon your website, um, you need something uh, concrete to draw them in. So we're going to talk about uh, today using uh, Google's Webmaster Tools. Uh, they've got a pretty, uh, you know, pretty substantial set of tools out there, and the one in particular we're going to talk about is, is using Google AdWords. So Webmaster Tools, um, you know, provide different ways of, you know, su Google suggestions on making your site friendly to Google. Um, they'll help diagnose uh, things with your site that um, may hamper it from getting uh, bigger and better search results, um, increasing that visibility uh, with other search engines, and so on. So, going to uh, learn lots about some of these tools today. They've also got tools out there uh, that help make your site more crawlable. Um, if anybody has ever heard of uh, search engine optimization, uh, what that refers to is how crawlable your website is. So because these search engines have these little tools out there that they call spiders or crawlers. And these things look over websites, trying to gather uh, key information, um, words and phrases, uh, that's going to make them relevant to searches. They'll look at not only text in the website, but they'll look at what's called alt text behind pictures. So if you're having somebody make your website for you, these crawlers don't know how to interpret pictures. So your web programmers should be doing something called putting an alt tag behind all your pictures. Um, things like having a proper website title, that's going to greatly affect the crawlability of your website. And Google, Google's uh, diagnostics in the Webmaster Tools will tell you how you're going to rate there. And then indexing stats. Uh, you can see how your site is indexed, um, which page is indexed, and what that means is those are the pages that 
the crawlers or the spiders have uh, have gone through. Um, you can make it so certain pages of your website aren't crawled or, or indexed for various reasons. Um, a lot of those uh, things that you commonly see do that are, are paid subscription uh, sites and sites that require logons that don't want to just be uh, public information. And like we talked about, a second step is learning what drives traffic to your website. Um, you're going to get better search results, not only if you have uh, links to your websites, but if lots of websites have links to you. So you'll be able to view the link data here, um, showing uh, what links are internal and what links are external. And that'll tell you also how people are getting to your website to help you better target your efforts um, that you see successful. Uh, you can see the top queries. Um, which is what terms that people are using to get to your websites. So if they're, you know, if your website just has the words, you know, home and auto insurance, well, chances are a lot of people are going to have those same things, and uh, that's not going to be one of the top queries for your website. Uh, but if you have a specialty niche market, or if you're uh, obviously targeting a specific geographical area, um, then you want to include that kind of content in your website. You know, uh, great hometown uh, insurance in uh, Beaverton, Michigan. You know, that's going to draw a lot more um, from your area and what's probably a lot more relative, uh, relevant for you. And then page analysis to see what words um, other sites link to use. So for the crawlability, since nobody really knows more about the site than you do, um, Google's going to give you uh, better ways to, to make that happen. Uh, you can submit a sitemap, uh, which you can see here. Um, you know, your web programmer or whoever can help make that sitemap. In Google, uh, you can submit your sitemap to them and help them crawl better so they know what's all there. And then also how often to crawl. The more often you make updates to your website and the more often Google crawls and see that you make updates, you know, it thinks that's a fresh, uh, constantly updating website. So that's going to keep it higher up in the search results. So let's get started with Google AdWords now that we've got a little bit of background of some of the things that we're talking about. Uh, we're going to make a Google AdWords account. Uh, we're going to have uh, some statistics uh, that will be seen after we make our advertisements so we can show everybody how it really works. So to begin, uh, you're going to go to Google. Uh, and at the bottom, you're just going to click on advertising, and this is what you'll see. You're going to go to a, we're going to make a um, an AdWords starter account. So again, you go to Google, just click on advertising right at the bottom. Uh, so where a customer is located, you know, you can set that demographic, and Google's smart enough to know that when people are searching, uh, it can tell what internet addresses they're coming from and where exactly they're at. So this will help you right off the bat focus your efforts. You know, where do you want your site to link to? Um, obviously, you're going to put in your, your web address. If you've got multiple, though, um, you can, you know, be specific about which one you're dealing with here. Down below at the bottom, you can see uh, an illustration of where the Google AdWords really are. A lot of people uh, uh, wonder what the difference is between Google AdWords and an actual Google search. Well, here it is down at the bottom. You can see in this illustration um, that... On Google, the search results are in the middle, and you know, take up the left and middle two thirds of the screen. And those little advertisements on the right-hand side, that you know, if you were to search for uh, personal auto insurance, that little pop-up over there on the right-hand side, that's what a Google AdWord is. So Google does have a lot of great free services. Uh, Google AdWords is not one of them. Uh, you are paying to advertise. Uh, the nice part is it lets you be very smart about managing your advertising money. Uh, you can, as you can see here, set budgets for how much you want to spend per month. You have to set your currency as well here, as you can see. And then you can get uh, Google AdWords uh, newsletters and tips, and then uh, also send you ideas on how to uh, uh, make everything or make your ads better performing. So as you can see, there is a $5 activation fee for starting up Google AdWords.